friends. I am so excited to be with you again today. I have another one of my very favorite stories where the wild things are pictures and story and pictures by Maurice Sendak. He has written over 50 books, but this one is his very most favorite. This one won a Caldecott Award in 1964. So he is fantastic. If you ever get a chance to go to your school library or your public library or a bookstore, be sure and look out um, for Maurice Syntax books because they're fantastic. He has great illustrations. Now, look at this cover for a second. What do you think this book is going to be about? Hmm. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see if you're right. Here's the end pages. And here's the title page that gives us another clue on what this story is going to be, be about. Where the Wild Things Are Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Now, if you've been watching my channel long, you've learned that the person who does the pictures is also called a, do you remember? An illustrator. So let's see what he has written and what he illustrated. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Do you know what the word mischief means? It means to do something you're not supposed to do. And Max is nailing stuff to the wall of his house. That's not supposed to happen at our house, so he is creating some mischief. And another. What is he doing in this picture? Is he chasing the dog? with a fork? I would not like that in my house. Would your family like that? His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Did he get into trouble? He sure did. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. I have a question for you. Can a forest really grow in your room? I think Max is using his imagination. That didn't really happen. What do you think? Do you ever use your imagination? And grew. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, and they rolled their terrible eyes, and they showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. It made him the king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Are they having fun? Hmm. 
Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely, and he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and they rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Now I have a question for you. Were you looking at some of these illustrations of some of these wild things in this story? Look at their different shapes. Some have big crazy teeth. Some of them had fish scales. Did you notice the fish scales on some of them? And this one's got a head of a bird and different horns. Do you think you can imagine your very own wild thing? If you get some time to color, I would love for you to color a wild thing and see what it would look like. Mm. And if you were king of all wild things, or maybe the queen, what kind of rules would you have? Hopefully you're not a wild thing and hopefully you're not up to mischief of all kinds. So I'll see you next time.